today we have another fun topic called sets and frozen sets. Let's begin with the formal definition of set. A set is an unordered collection of unique elements. So this is something that you already learned in your mathematics class while you were in school. This is exactly the same thing. So I'm going to initialize my first set. So let's say I have a basket of fruits and I want to represent that using a set in Python. So this is how I do it. You should use curly brackets, right? And then you should add all your elements in this set. So I have a bunch of fruits that I have placed in my basket. I love mango, by the way. It's summer and in India, uh, there are a lot of mangoes coming out and they taste so good. And then I have some repeated elements. So I have two apples in my basket, two oranges and one mango. So I just created a set. When I do type of basket, it is telling me that the type is set. Now let's print the content of basket. When I do that, you notice that orange was present two times in my basket, but this one is just showing one time. So that's what unique element aspect means. Uh, a set doesn't allow duplicate elements, so it will remove duplicates automatically. So set could be useful when you want to have only unique elements uh, for doing anything. Okay, there is another way to initialize set, which is by doing this. So you can just initialize set like this and then you can add the elements into it. So for example, I'm going to add whatever number b dot add sorry a dot add okay when I print a I get one and two. All right now when you initialize the set using the first syntax which is curly brackets remember that you don't use empty curly brackets because when you do that it is gonna initialize it as dictionary you see this uh, and if i have a is equal to something if i have as long as i have some content into it it will always make it a set okay so remember not to use this Another interesting thing about set is they are unordered. So you cannot use the index. So for example, in basket, I want to access orange. I cannot do this basket zero. This is not allowed. So that's the basic difference between a list and a set. So list allows index operation, set doesn't allow it. List allows duplicate elements, set doesn't allow it. And that's one of the primary use case of set that whenever you want to remove duplicate elements from a list, you use set. So for example, if you have a list of numbers, right? So I have a list of numbers and as you see, two, three and four are repeated. So they're duplicate. Now, when you're doing programming, you will most frequently encounter this need of removing duplicate elements from a list. Whenever you uh, face that kind of situation, you should always use set. And set supports taking list as an input in the constructor. So I'm creating a set object here, and this is my constructor, and I'm passing list as an input, and it is allowed. So when you print unique numbers here, you will see all the unique numbers in the list, okay? Now, as we saw previously, if you want to add any new element to that uh, set, you can always add it. And if you print it, it's gonna work fine. Now, often there are needs where you want your set to be frozen. Frozen meaning you should not be able to change the content of your set. In that case, uh, you have to use a frozen set. So to initialize a frozen set, you can use frozen set and you can say numbers. Okay. So when you print frozen set, it's going to print again, it did the same thing. So frozen set and set are exactly same. They are unordered list. They removed duplicate. As you see here, they removed duplicate from this list. 
Uh, but the only difference between set and frozen set is it doesn't allow to add a new element. So you saw it's not allowing. So you cannot change the context or content of uh, your frozen set. Okay, now let's cover some basic operations that uh, a set covers. Uh, here I have a set called X, which has elements A, B, C. Uh, it covers, a, it supports um, in operator. So you can say A in X will be true, but X, uh, whatever, G in X will be false. Also, if you want to iterate over all the elements, then you can use syntax similar to a list. So you can say for i in x. So it supports iterable, iterator. So you can iterate over all the elements like this. Now, if you have another set, uh, uh, let's say here I have another set called y is having these three elements a g and h right so x has this y has this i want to find out a union of these two right in basic set theory there are certain common operations such as union intersection subset etc so in python all of those things are supported uh, to find out union you can use or operator x or y so as you see a was common so it's just present one time and then it has all the elements from both the sets. If you want to find out an inter intersection, you use AND operation, X and Y. And you see only element common in both the sets is A. Hence, it printed A. You can also find out a difference. So you can say X minus Y. And that's going to print B and C. Because from X, if you subtract y a is the common element so it will subtract a and what is left is b and c it also supports subset so if you want to check whether x is a subset of y you can say x less than y now here of course x is not a subset of y if a set is a subset of another set it should have the second set should have all the elements from the first set so here i'm going to change x set and i'm going to say okay it has h and g two elements okay and my y already has h and g now i do x less than y it's going to say true okay so that was all about set operations thank you for watching this video